So what is up, fellas? Ladies, here I am, back again. And this week, uh, we got another E-Juice review for you. And if any of you saw my review a week, week and a half-ish, whenever it was, uh, on Northland Vapor Company, uh, this is their premium line. And it's called Apex. Apex. I don't know why I said it twice. Apex. I was going to go to a mountain to do this. You know, Apex It's like the top very tip top, usually in a peak of some sort of a mountain or whatnot. Actually, it could be, could be anything, I guess. But um, we don't have any mountains here in Dallas, so I went to this uh, crusty old basement instead. But we have seven flavors to go through today, so let's get to it. And to start off, this is the bottle art, Apex E-Liquid. You see the mountains in the background. Uh, this one is called Fluffernutter. All these look the same except for the colors and the name of the e-juice. Again, you have a born on date, you have a nicotine level, and you have a VG designator. So that's 89 VG, 11 PG. Love that. Love that this company does that. I don't know what the hell that is. All right, since we took a look at Fluffernutter first, let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, I lost my page. Fluffernutter, a modern twist on a classic. Ours is crafted with the fluffiest fire-teased marshmallow and creamy pistachio. Sounds fantastic for any of you guys who love uh, pistachio nut ice cream. I don't even know what it's called. I don't eat ice cream, I'm too fat. But I know pistachios are pretty well loved, so I don't, I don't really know what a pistachio tastes like, to be quite honest. I've never had pistachio ice cream, I've never had the ones you crack out of a damn shell and all that business. But let's see. Today, again, it'll be on the Troll V2 RDA. Looks like my build's at 0.27. We'll try, let's go 60 watts on the Wismac Rouleau RX300. Let's hit it. Fluffernutter, Northland Vapor Company Apex line. Again, 89 VG, man, that clouds up the jerk, to quote Archie Bunker. Uh, man, um, you taste marshmallow and you taste nutty. I guess that's pistachio. That's not, that's not bad. That pistachio nuttiness, creamed out with that marshmallow flavor. Let's hit it again. Yeah, that's something that's, that's light and smooth and kind of chill. Kind of like, uh, the... Nuts and nuts and cream, whatever the hell that was I tried last week. Sorry, I don't remember what it's called, but it's really good because that that nuttiness is different to me. I don't get a lot of a lot of e juice with nut nut flavor. Let's see if I could break a record with how many times I say nut. But that's a that's a that's actually really nice, and you could vape that all day. Is that the last time? I may have to bump that up just a tad, but yeah, fluffer nutter. I've heard of that. I think that's a thing somewhere. It's really good. I dig it. Fluffer nutter. Moving right along. All right, next up we're gonna try Nana's Nut Bread. 85 VG, three milligrams. Let's see what the website says about this one. A smooth cinnamon custard topped with caramelized bananas and walnuts. That actually sounds delicious. I don't know if that's how banana nut bread is made, but uh, we'll see what it tastes like. I'm smelling banana for show. That's pretty much it. And that smells like, that smells like candy banana. Like runts, which are the best runts. The banana ones, you know runts, the candies, Willy Wonka. Do your research, man. Damn. All right, Nana's Nut Bread. Caramelized bananas, cinnamon custardy, walnuts. Thought I forgot, didn't you? Let's hit it. Oh, that's, that's delightful. There's a lot going on there. Immediately, I said, this doesn't taste like it was, oh man, there's the custard. Custard took a little bit. That's, oh, that's delicious. Immediately, when I took it in, I tasted banana nut bread, which I'm like, that's not what the description really said. Uh, then you get a, uh, let, me, let me hit it again. Let me get this right. Because that's, 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 there's a lot going on there. Oh yeah, man, that's that's fantastic. Um, ah man, it, it stays with you for a bit. Um, 
you get banana nut bread, it tastes like banana nut bread. But you're getting a little bit of that custardy crap. I don't want, I almost said shit. But you're getting a little bit of that custard flowing down the back end. <laughs> Man, I think I'm funny. And it's, it's really nice. That's not something I would pair, I don't think, if I had my, my druthers, which is a word. But um, that, that actually goes together really well. Last time. Yeah, if, if you don't like this, there's something wrong with you. That's really good. That's almost like a... It's almost like a banana pudding mixed with a cinnamon custard. That makes sense. Yeah, fantastic. Nana's nut bread. Let's keep this party moving. All right, next up we have Duvall's Delight. Duvall. Is that like Robert Duvall? I don't know. Let's see if the website says something. Straight from Key West, this bright and flavorful yet rich and creamy mix will have you convinced you're walking down Duvall Street eating key lime pie on a stick. 88 VG, holy mackerel. I can dig it. And again, these are no artificial sweeteners and daikaton I free. I, I should have looked that up. I should have done my research, but I still don't know what the hell that is. Do you want me to look it up? I'm not gonna. Look it up and tell me what it is. I don't know. It smells like key lime. Um, I really dig key lime and I dig creamy. I don't know if I dig Duval Street. Is that in Key West? I've never, well, actually I have been to Florida. You ever been to the Miami airport? That place sucks. That's got to be the worst airport in the world. People there are so so rude. I don't want to offend anybody from Miami. But if you work at the Miami airport, then screw you, Charlie. Because you suck. Even the people at Starbucks are rude. How the hell does that work? But whatever. Key lime pie. Creamy key lime pie on a stick. Let's see what we got. I'll bump this up again. Let's try 70 watts. It's taking a bit to ramp up. Duval's Delight. Apex. That's definitely key lime and creamy. Uh, and it's not key lime pie because I'm not getting any kind of crust, any kind of gram or anything like that. That's nice. That's a, that's a sit by the pool and vape, which I haven't done. That sounds fantastic. I may have to leave you guys for a second. No, no, we'll do that later. But yeah, key lime on a stick. I, it can be on a stick. Can't taste any stick, but that's definitely key lime. And that's, let's see, let's see if I can find some stick. Lime is nice. Lime is nice. I much prefer lime to lemon. I don't have anything against lemon, but lime is just seems smoother to me. I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's really nice. That is, as soon as I took a hit off this, I thought I should be sitting by a pool with a nice drink of water and this. That'd be fantastic. Well, one more hit. That's another good one. There's not a lot going on there. Unlike the ones I had before, where it was really, you could pick out a lot of flavors. That's, that's just straight up key lime to me. And I like it. I like it. it's really it's refreshing. It's like a Sonic. You guys have Sonic wherever you're at the fast food joint where they hire hot chicks on skates usually to come out and bring you your food. They have limeades. That's it's it's what it tastes like. It tastes like you're vaping a limeade, and it's it's really good, really good. Next up, and next up we have straw yum. Is that right? Straw yum. A more savory take on the standard strawberry cream vape, this unique blends yum comes from the notes of caramelized pecans that pairs unexpectedly with juicy strawberries. 82 VG. Okay, anyone who knows me, I say this a lot, but anyone who knows me knows I like strawberries and cream. That's one of my standards. Because it's delicious. I'm interested in the addition of the pecan because I had a vape once from, uh, I think, Budget Ballers. That initially I didn't I didn't really dig that much. It was like a chocolate something with caramel and but it also had pecans. And my grandpa has a pecan tree out back of his house crib. And we used to eat the balls out them things, son. And I like pecans. I like pecan pie. And back to my original point, having a vape that initially I didn't like, the more and more I, I tried it and got that pecan finish, the more I loved it. 
and it ended up being re really good. It ended up being, I wouldn't say one of my favorites, but definitely one that I had in rotation. So let's, let's go to straw yum. I'm tired of farting around. Straw yum, strawberries and cream. What the hell? Caramelized pecans. Let's do it. Okay, off the first hit, I'm getting strawberry, but that's really, that's a lot mellower, probably because it's strawberries and cream. That's a lot mellower than I was expecting. Let me, let me get it again real quick. That's a really good strawberries and cream. That's really fresh strawberries and a nice smooth cream. I'm going to be honest though, I'm not getting any pecan at all. None at all. Let me get it. Let me get a last hit. Yeah, as a strawberries and cream, that's very, very nice. That's that's a great strawberries and cream. I'm not getting any pecan at all. Sorry to say. Oh man, I was I was wanting that too. I'm gonna take one more hit. I know I know that's too much, but I'm gonna take one more hit to be sure. Yeah, that's a really that's a really nice strawberries and cream. But I'm getting, I'm getting no pecan. Oh well, still good. I'm just not getting any pecan out of it. Let's go ahead and move right along. And fifth up, we have Happenstance, 90 VG. No context clues there. I have no idea what that is. Our constant effort towards avant-garde creations bring you this: an exotic, creamy vape with layers of black currants and fresh fig. 90% VG. That's definitely avant-garde. Whatever the hell that means, because I have no idea what that's supposed to taste like. But I'll tell you this, that's definitely 90 VG because that is thick as hell. All right, happenstance, avant-garde. There's another one you guys can look up for me and tell me what the hell it means. Layers of black currants, is that right? Is it current? C-U-R-R-A-N-T? Currants? I don't know. Black currants and fig. I don't, I, I don't know, man. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not great. I don't, I don't know what to compare that to. It doesn't taste like a Fig Newton, which is my only experience with Fig. And I like Fig Newtons. I really don't know what to say. Let me try it again. I will say this, it has a nice sweetness in it without being dessert sweet, if that makes sense. It's kind of a, it's creamy with a little bit of sweetness. I really have absolutely no idea what to compare that. It's nice, it's okay. It's nice, nice and sweet. I'm trying to think what this would go well with, what it reminds me of, what it brings to mind visually, and I, I got nothing. Last time. Wow, that's the first time I've been completely stumped. It's nice, it's, it's I'm gonna tell you, it's not, not my favorite and it's not my least favorite it's just kind of okay it's okay it doesn't taste bad or chemically or anything like that it's just i don't know i don't know what it is let's let's go ahead and move on all right the penultimate bottle pink rain pink rain pink rain r.i.p prince miss you buddy Pink Rain, a tropical mix of pink guava, grapefruit, and a myriad of other delectable tropical treats. 89 VG. That's another, that's another thick one, son. Okay, this should be interesting. Uh, guava, I'm a big fan of. Tropical fruits, I'm a big fan of. Grapefruit, not so much. Not so much. Oh, shizzle. And yeah, that smells like grapefruit, son. You know, I know a lot of people like grapefruit. Um, they like to eat it for breakfast, and they like to eat it with a spoon or something and get squirted in the eyeball. Uh, but I don't. I don't like grapefruit. I don't. What are, you, what are you gonna do? But I do like guava and other tropical fruits and medleys and so forth. So let's see. Let's see how this stacks up. This should be interesting. What the hell is this called? Pink. Pink something. Pink rain. <laughs> I forget. Prince. Oh, like mackerel. Pink rain. 
guava, grapefruit, and some other delectable stuff. Okay. Okay. The grapefruit is not as strong as I initially was afraid it would be. That's another one. That's not my favorite. You do get the grapefruit, which kind of turns me off. I get the guava. I don't know what else is in there. It mostly tastes like grapefruit and guava. It, it tastes like, here's what it tastes like, which is probably why it's called pink brain. It tastes like the pink grapefruit juice from Smelches, Welches, whatever the hell that is. Let me, let me try again. Yeah, um, I think if you like pink grapefruit juice, you will love this. Uh, I, however, do not. I do not like pink grapefruit juice and that's what it tastes like. But it, what sucks though, for me anyway, for my, my taste palette, is you do get the guava on the exhale and that's really nice, but that, unfortunately that grapefruit isn't my favorite. Although it's not super tangy tart citrus, like, which really turns me off, um, it still tastes like grapefruit. One more time. Yeah, if you like grapefruit, jump on it. Because it tastes like grapefruit. But light, but light. Almost, uh, almost more like grapefruit juice which is much less tart to me. And let me be clear here. I know what grapefruit tastes like. I've had it. Sometimes I drink grapefruit juice just to make myself feel better about myself. You know, sometimes I drink uh, cranberry juice too, which I don't like, but it's full of antioxidants and some kind of back, I don't know what's in it, but it's supposed to be good for you. So I know what grapefruit juice is supposed to taste like, and unfortunately for me, that's what it tastes like. But hell, if you like grapefruit juice, and I don't know a lot of you folks do, then there you go. Tastes like grapefruit juice with some guava juice on the end. The, gra the, the guava's actually nice. I don't like the grapefruit. Let's go to the last bottle. All right, and the last of the seven is called Fruit Forward. Fruit Forward, which is an in-your-face blend of strawberries, pear, melon, and a top-secret fruit that you will never be able to guess. Challenge accepted. Okay, now this one, on the other hand, I believe I've said before that I love me some pear. I love me some strawberries. I love me some melon. Uh, mystery flavor. Mystery, is it mystery fruit? Top secret fruit. Holy crap. It's like I'm in the CIA, son. Strawberries, pears, melons, and mystery fruit. I want to start making guesses already, but that'd be dumb. I'm. Let's do it. Let's get on it. Now that is delicious. I get the melon and the pear immediately. Not getting a ton of strawberry. Man, mystery, top secret mystery fruit. I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? Somebody knows what it is. Northland Vapor Company knows what it is, I bet. I wonder if they'll tell me if I ask really nicely. Let's hit it again. That is super yummy. Pears and melons, again, not getting a lot of strawberry, which is fine. I don't think it needs it. Can cantal can well, that's a melon. I was going to say cantaloupe. That's a melon. God dang it. Last hit. I'm stumped. I don't care. It's delicious. I don't care. I don't even care what the top secret fruit is. I don't care. I'm kidding. I care. But I can't. I'm going to ask. I'm just going to ask what the top secret fruit is, but they probably won't tell me because then I'll tell you. And then it's not a secret anymore. Damn it. I'm going to hit it one last time. It's a top secret fruit. I got to figure it out. I don't know. I quit. I quit. Stupid ass top secret fruit. All right. So Apex Line by Northland Vapor. Uh, very nice, very nice line and very nice clouds. Every single one of them. I think the last one was like 76 VG and still was very, very nice dense clouds, which I like. I thought five were outstanding. I thought one was good just because it was weird. Um, 
and one just didn't tickle me because it had grapefruit in it. But that's gonna do it. If you wanna try any of these flavors, head down to www, I put the third W in this time, dot northlandvapor.com. Uh, these childproof glass dripper 30 mil bottles with the blue glass are all $9.99 currently. They do have a few bundles as well, which lowers the price just a bit. So definitely worth it. If you like those flavor profiles, check them out. I will link their website as always in the description below. Really cool folks. And they're coming out with a CBD line, which I've never had before. And I'm super excited to try out. Um, so I think I'm gonna. But if any of you guys out there are familiar with CBD lines, because this will be my first foray into that, that realm. And, um, you know, I've done my research, but I'm, I'm a noob. I'm a noob. We're all noobs at some point. So, you know, give me some of that info you got. That good info. But that's going to do it. If you like what I'm doing, throw me a like. Hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those down in the comment section below. We're we'll rectify that situation. And as always, I'd like to remind you guys to mob that bitch to the wheels fall off.